What's going on guys? No different kicking the bass TV. And I'm excited to bring you guys this video today. Um, this is something totally different I've never done. And so literally if you guys like this video, definitely let me know. Like seriously, leave a comment below. I, I want to know. I want to know the feedback if it was good, if it was bad, or if you guys just like the normal like tournament videos and stuff like this. So I, I want to know guys. I want to know you know what you guys are wanting. And I and this is something totally different like I said. I haven't really seen anyone do it, so I'm going to try it out today and see how this goes. But um, second of all, thank you guys so much for the support. Like I said, it means the world. My channel is finally starting to get getting growing and everything. I can't thank you guys enough. But guys, another update is I've been posting Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays every, every one of those days, so three videos a week. I'm um, just to kind of notify you guys, and you guys can check out my social media sites below if you want to be notified like when... Like say there's, yeah, I'm posting a video today and you're like, oh yeah, it's Tuesday. There's a video going up at 4 p.m. So like that's kind of what I'll do. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, guys, today what we're going to be doing is I have a clip from a tournament that me and Trent fished. And instead of just playing music over the tournament clip, I'm going to be talking about what we were doing, how our day went, how it went along. I'm going to be watching the video and you guys are going to be watching it with me. I'm going to explain what I'm doing here, I'm going to ex explain what I'm doing there, and hopefully you guys can just pick up a few tips or just, um, you know, relate to it. So that's kind of what I'm aiming for today. And like I said, at the end of this video, just be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed it, and leave a comment if you want to see more of these. So let's go ahead and hop into the video. Alright guys, so we started off our day, and we were, you know, we were really confident. We were bed fishing, you know, that's what we were we were really trying to do that's what we thought this tournament was going to be all about is like we're going to bed fish this previous week before i was catching them you know i was catching them catching them on beds and i was catching some on the main lake it was a little bit different but literally i had a day with like 15 pounds the next day i had 18 pounds and the next day i had almost like about 22 pounds worth of spotted bass so right now i mean i have a few beds marked i was um i was just trying to fish for them you know and we just could not get them to bite there's a few fish there wasn't anything too surprising, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't too much of, you know, a lot of big fish, it was just some average fish that I wanted to catch, and so, like, we did that for a while, and as you can tell now, I'm throwing a shaky head, and we're on the main lake, and as you can tell, there's, like, a little bit of wind, there's a lot of current, and so we just started fishing these reef pools, this is where we started off, we fished the reef pools, we're kind of, we're breaking everything down, I told Trent, he was like, man, I really want to bed fish, I'm like, dude, if they're not going to bite that, we got to adjust, and see what the fish are doing so we, we went on some reef poles some deep water um humps and stuff like that started fishing and trim's actually tying on a uh underspin right now and that's pretty much what we were throwing out here we're throwing out on these points these rocky points that drop off from shallow to deep very fast and we we're also fishing those reef poles so then i just hit a few confident spots i believe this is where we picked up our first fish it's like a few hours into the day like i said like it, it just started off not the best so Trent hooks one right here. I grabbed the net just because, you know, it's one of those days where, like, you don't want to have any mistakes, especially if you don't have anything in the boat. It was nothing big, but, I mean, I just hit one of my confidence spots. I was like, Trent, you should catch one here. Throw your shaky head around, and I'm um, see what you can get. So he caught just, like, a small one here. But it kept, and it got a fish in the box. So it definitely got our confidence up. <clears throat> yeah, just a little spot right there. And this is on the south end of the lake if you guys fish Lake Lanier a lot. That's, um, we mostly um, fade towards like the south end. That's mostly where I live by. So now I'm fishing a bridge right here. And um, I know I, I love throwing a fish head on bridges. As you can tell, that's what I'm throwing right now. I told Trent, just throw your shaky head. Let's see if you can get a few fish in the boat. I'm going to go for the big bite. So as you can tell right now, I'm throwing on the pylons. I'm, re I'm reeling right next to the pylons. I'm throwing on the edge of them. And right here, I'm reeling very fast. Like I'm, I'm reeling very fast. I felt, as you can tell right there, like literally, I was reeling up. I felt the fish hit it, and I was like, I gave him a second. You know, I didn't want to. I wanted to capitalize on it. See, see, I just reeled, 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 stopped. Let him eat it, and then boom, there he was. So that just shows you need to be focused and everything, and you need to know. You know, you got to be zoned in. You got to think there's going to be a fish that's going to be biting your lure twenty four seven. I don't know why I didn't cut Trent's butt out of this, but <laughs> it's all right. Don't worry about that. But, um, yeah, guys, but you need to know that, that a fish is going to be biting your lure 24-7. You need to be focused on that. But, seriously, like, I just felt like a little tick. I was like, man, I need to slow down for a second. 
I felt him kind of eat it. I gave him a second to eat it, and then he actually had it. He actually choked it. I mean, he had it in his mouth, so he really wanted it, and those fish were just piled up on that bridge. So right here, I told uh, I told Trent, I'm like, man, this is a big fish spot. You should catch some big fish here. We're kind of figuring out what's going on. There's a lot of current. There's a good bit of wind. And right at this spot, there's a lot of bait. This is how I knew there was fish. You know, there's a lot of bait. When I would reel my lure back in, I'm throwing a, I'm throwing an underspin right now. When I was reeling my bait back, I saw a lot of little bait fish following it. So that keyed my mind. Where there's bait, there's fish. Um, so that's really why we were fishing this. I can tell that guy, that guy in the boat right there, literally was going in like two foot of water. Me and Trent were talking to each other like, what the heck's going on? But right here, this is where I caught the biggest fish of the day. <clears throat> um, we caught some small ones. I just haven't shown them on clip. That hook set looked horrible. Like you couldn't see the rod bend in the video. Yeah, this is like the biggest one right here. Right there it was jumping. And we honestly thought it was like a 7-8 pounder. But uh, we knew it was a largemouth. It wasn't that big. But guys, when that thing jumped, it looked huge. The crazy part about that right there, when I, when I just flipped that thing right in the net, the lure actually came out of its mouth as the fish was going in. You can see the lure at the top of the net. That, that was just crazy. I mean, it was totally intense. It was uncalled for. I mean, look at that. Boom, barely made it into the net. But guys, that was that was a close one. And uh, <laughs> I mean, most of the time I'll boat flip, flip fish, but gosh, I mean, if I would have tried to boat flip, I mean, probably would have came off. I would have been hurt. But a solid fish right there. That was the biggest fish of the tournament. Um, it was a largemouth, which is surprising because I usually don't catch that many largemouth on Lake Lanier. <clears throat> um, but that just shows you I mean, where the bait's at. I still had my mind, me and Trent both had our minds on some bedding fish. I saw some bedding fish back in this cove, and I was like, or I found them in practice, and I was like, hey, let's just go check it out, see what's going on. There's some there, nothing the best, you know, um, but still my main confidence was all on the main lake, so we definitely went back there. We're fishing this, like, reef pole right here, and it's kind of like a blow-through. There's just not too much wind going through. I know you can't see the other pole, um, but just kind of throwing up on that reef pole, reeling it back off of it. In this next spot right here, we fished the we fished the other side of the island, and I had one bite, I believe. And this is this is a big fish spot. I told Trent that, and I was like, Trent, there's a lot of big fish here. If we just capitalize, you literally you can win the tournament here. And um, this is one spot I've caught a lot of big fish at, and Trent actually missed like two or three good ones, like really good ones. I'm not saying it's his fault or anything. But um, he missed a few really, really good fish, like literally four and five pound spots that really could have put us to the top, at least top three, easy. Um, but this spot, guys, this this spot, I mean, I just knew there was a lot of fish. There was bait. There was bait falling back my lure. Um, but I was telling Trent, and what I tell you guys a lot, with that fish head, with that uh, underspin, you have to hook set sideways. And if you hook set up, I'm, I'm telling you, like 90% of the time, you're not going to hook them. If you hook set sideways, I mean, you're, you're most likely going to get that fish in the boat. You're going to get a good penetration. The hook's going to get in his mouth really good. So um, that was one thing. I mean, I know it's really hard. Like, sometimes, especially if you're used to it, you're like, you're wanting to hook set up. I mean, I understand that completely. You just got to get used to it, get used to that bite, sweep to the side just like a crankbait or any other standard bait with treble hooks, and you usually get the fish. But, yeah, guys, like 15 pounds of loss of this one hole. It was ridiculous. It, it kind of sucked, but everything happens for a reason. Maybe it just wasn't our day. Um, I don't believe I got any of his bites. I believe he hopped in the back of the boat when he started getting the bites. <clears throat> so we went to plan B. We're fishing the other side of this bridge. I told Trent, let's just go get a few more. Let's let's go and just pop off a couple small ones, get some fish in the boat. I was like, we might, we might as well do that just because we need to get something in the boat right now. I'm not too focused on that big bite at this moment. And this tournament actually ends a few hours earlier. It ended at 1, I believe. But um, right here, we're fishing the other side. I told Trent to throw my shaky head up there. And um, I believe I'm still throwing my fish head around. This is like our fifth fish, I believe. I didn't get the other ones on camera. They were actually came on the other side where we caught that, or where I caught that fish head fish. <clears throat> we actually caught a few more over there. But for some reason, the camera turned off. So, like, Trent, like, clicked it on. Like, I saw him click it on, and it was, like, a one-second clip. It was, like, it shut off automatically. But we went over there. We did the same thing. I actually threw a shaky head, too. I caught one. Trent caught one. And then we went over to this side, caught another. And I um, pretty much got our limit of fish right here. So, I mean, that got our confidence up. And then we pretty much went back to deep water fishing, you know. We went back to that main spot where I caught my biggest one. Because I was like, Trent, there's fish here. There's bait here. I know there's fish here. We just got to stick it out. You may get a bite every 30 minutes, but if you get a bite, it's going to be a good one. 
So um, we stuck it out, you know, as you can tell, I mean, the wind wasn't too bad. It was a little wavy out, but that's all right. <clears throat> um, but we kept on fishing that. There was still bait following our, our fish heads, following our baits back to the boat. And so, I mean, I knew that was a productive area. I knew there was going to be fish there. Um, so right here, I just threw up on the shallow end, and I'm reeling it out into the deep water. As you can tell, I'm just popping it a little bit, giving it a little bit of action, and I just got a bite right there. And guys, this bite, like, I honestly thought I had an easy five-pound fish. I was like, Trent, this is a big fish. And I already, I already was confident because I caught a fish there earlier today, and it was a monster. So I was like, Trent, this is a big one. This is a big one. This is a big one. And it was pulling my drag like crazy. It was going, I mean, it was just, we were all pumped about it. Right when I get the fish back to the boat, as you can tell right there, I kind of started. I was like, screw this. It was, a, it was a walleye. And literally, guys, I've only caught, I've only, that's my first walleye I've caught in Lake Lanier. I've never caught any walleye on Lake Lanier. I haven't really heard of many people catching walleye. My dad's caught one years ago on a crankbait, but literally, guys, like, there's no walleye in this lake. And um, he actually choked that thing. He, he choked it down. I had to get the pliers and get it out, so I just kind of quick released him right there. But, um, yeah, that, that I mean, I was so pumped about that. I was like, oh, my God, this is a big fish. I just got that bite, but, you know, you can't control everything, so... We got back. My dad and my mom actually met us at the at the ramp. They wanted to watch the weigh in, and so uh, we got there. I mean, we weren't too, we weren't really pumped, you know. We caught we caught some small ones. I also got one good fish, but you know, I mean, that's what, it happens, guys. It's not, you're not gonna win every tournament. You're not gonna do the best of every tournament. But we put five fish in the boat. We did what we could that day. We adjusted to the situation. Caught fish. Handled the situation great. And I've got fish in the boot, and that's really all that matters at the end of the day. And also, we had a lot of fun, so you can't beat that. Quality time on the water in tournaments, you just got to have some fun with it, too. So right here, guys, I'm putting this whole raw footage clip right here. I me mean, trying to get the fish out of the live wall. And these are small fish. Of course, they're going to be hyper. But guys, I don't, I'm not sitting here promoting this company just because they're my sponsor. I'm sitting here saying, like, this, those VT2s right there, my new pro products, they really help the fish. Like I'm, not, they are so much more wilder. Like they, they are so wild. I can barely even grab them. And even the big one, you, you can tell when I, I was so healthy. Like I got it out of the boat. I'm, as you can tell, I'm checking one of the fish that Trent said he was kind of curious about, but he was, he was like an inch over still. But guys, these fish are so healthy in this live well. And um, and you gotta, you gotta get that this is a hot day as well. So, you gotta make sure the fish are all right. And there's no need for ice or anything. And um. As you can tell right here, getting the big one out. And um, he was pretty wild, you know. Here, we'll see. See how wild he is? It's kind of hard for me to grab him. He's really hyper. Um, and he's just feeling great, you know. He's not really lethargic, like he's about to die or any of that. And um, there we go. That's the big guy right there. He was still shaking when I was putting him in the bag. But those fish, guys, with those VG2s, I really believe it makes a difference. And I honestly didn't think it was. I was like... I don't think it was that big of a deal. It's like, we're going to get these VTGs and we help, help the fish out a little bit. But guys, it really does help the fish. It keeps them really wild. It keeps them healthy. And I actually have a video on it. If you'd like to go check it out, it's on my page. <clears throat> so we weighed the fish right here. I honestly can't remember what weight we had. Um, and then he weighed our big one for big fish, but we did not be big fish. Big fish was like 8 pounds or something crazy. I can't remember what one. I believe it was like... 19 i can't remember i honestly cannot this has been a while since um i fished this tournament i just had the footage let's get a release on this big guy that was a fun catch guys i was hoping that walleye was going to be a big bass um but taking out of the water guys like i said yeah we didn't do the best we got five fish in the boat there's a lot of people that really didn't catch any i mean there's a lot of boats that did not weigh in we were surprised you know um that a lot of the boats didn't weigh in especially these are like the top sticks on the water that we're fishing and so um you know we had a blast we had a lot of fun we caught it i mean i caught that one decent fish also cut some small ones throughout the day like we could we called out a few <clears throat> um a few of the small ones but it was just by like ounces like it wasn't by much at all so uh yeah guys i had a blast i really did and the reason i'm showing you guys this video is because i want to show you guys that not yeah, on the water is going to be great you know not every single day that you spend on the water is gonna be the best day possible. You know, you're gonna have those days where you don't catch as many fish. 
you're going to have those days that, you know, you're, you're just whacking them. You know, it's just, that's just how it is. And that's fishing, guys. That's fishing. That's just how it's going to be. Um, but guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Before I even end this off, this tournament is called a gambler tournament. And I know some of you guys are going to know, yeah, I know what a gambler tournament is, but some of you guys may not. So what the gambler tournament is, is they have, they have all, all their line of gambler baits and you have to fish the gambler baits. That was another thing that really messed us up because I had a lot of baits that the fish were biting that I could not throw because you can't have them in the boat. Therefore, you'd be cheating. So uh, we what, what we did is we took everything out of the boat. That's what you have to do. You have to take all your other baits. And so we bought some of their underspins. We bought some of their shaky heads and flukes and stuff like that. Flukes are bed fish, but they they were just not on bed good. <clears throat> um, but... We had to buy like all their baits, spent like over a hundred bucks on some baits, threw those in the boat. And that's what we took out that day. So we did what we could with what we had. And like I said, had a blast. But guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a comment below. Leave a comment below on what you guys want to see. I want to know what you guys want to see. And if you like this style of video, if you love this video, I want you guys to let me know. And please hit the thumbs up button for more content. And also, if you enjoyed this video, and I really hope you guys got a few tips out of this, you know, um, I want you guys, I think this is a better way of me explaining how the tournament went. Of course, I'm going to have those videos where I have music behind them because I just like personally, I like those action videos. And that's just something I want to keep like for myself as well for the future. It's something that I like, um, but I know a lot of you guys like it as well. But some people do not like music. So for you guys that don't like the music, if you guys really enjoyed this video, let me know. Um, but yeah, guys, I think this is a great way of me showing you guys, this is what I did. This is how I caught the fish. This is how we adjusted. You know, that's the biggest thing. And really like, I think you guys can get a lot of tips out of this video, especially so you're going to linear and you can be like, Oh, you can relate back to this. You know, that's, that's what I want you guys to get out of this video. But guys, I lost my voice last night. So it's really hard for me to talk, but I'm trying my best, but Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys mean the world to me. You guys are the best subscribers ever. I cannot thank you guys enough for all the support and all the love you guys show me. But guys, if you could, check out the links below. I have all my social media sites. It will notify you um, of for when the videos go out and everything. And I also post my pictures throughout the week of the fish that I catch um, for the videos that are going out and everything. So you guys just get a little bit of updates and stuff like that. Um, from the social media sites, I also have my clothing link and website link below. Um, if you guys could, please go check that out. That means the world to me, guys. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please click that, click that, click, please click that like button. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.